So your home is on the market. You've got a showing scheduled. Should you leave so the buyers can look at it without you being there? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, I'm Nicholas Schrader, one half of the Schrader Brothers, Berkshire Hathaway Results Realty. And in this episode, we are going to talk about if you have your home on the market and you have a showing, should you leave? We all know what the obvious answer is, and we're going to talk about it. But first, I want to remind you, we do these videos each and every Monday to inform the buyer, the seller, and anybody just looking to learn more about living that Florida lifestyle, live flow life. It's what we are all about. Again, new videos on Mondays. We like it if you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Wherever you're watching, we're on YouTube. We are on Rumble. Uh, these videos are also posted on our various social media sources. You can find most of those links on our website at liveflowlife.com. Let's jump right back into it. So your home's on the market. Your agent calls you and says, we've got a showing scheduled for Saturday at 2 o'clock. Okay, you're off on a Saturday. You're generally home. What are you going to do? Leave. That's what you need to do. If your home is on the market and you have a showing, you should leave the home. And let's talk about why. A couple reasons. First one, new buyers are coming in, potential buyers. If you are there, your home automatically feels crowded. Why? Because they feel like they're being watched over. People want to be able to be free to express their opinions while they're walking around a home. And if you are there, that makes it very, very difficult. Another reason, if you're walking through your house and somebody says something about, I don't know, a hole or a, a miss, uh, a scratch on a wall, you know, the agent showing that home isn't going to know the full story, but that's probably good because when you start talking about your home, because obviously you know more about your home than anybody else. Not saying it's something that needed to be disclosed or not disclosed, but guess what? When you start giving the backstory on everything about your home, all the upgrades, um, how everything happened, talking about the neighbors, how they're great or how they're not great, you could cost yourself a sale. You could cost yourself the... Uh, people may think that you now are not a very motivated seller if you're talking about all the positives of your house or maybe you are looking like a very desperate seller which moves us on to number three a clingy seller comes off as a desperate seller if you're trying to to highlight every feature of your home while they are there with their agent it kind of makes it look like you're trying to hide something else so clingy sellers come off as desperate sellers so and the last one and there's a lot on this list that could be but we're just going to do the top four here the last one, you want your home to look like it did when they saw it online in the photos. And guess what? You weren't in those photos. People need to come in. They need to be able to see how they would live their life in that home, not how you are living your life in that home. Hopefully, your agent has given you some sort of a guide as far as how to stage your home for photos and for showings. So you want to keep your home in that shape or as close to as possible throughout the entire sales process. And yeah, that's you not being there. So in short, if your home is on the market and you have a scheduled showing, leave. You'll give your home a much, much better chance of being sold. Those buyers want to feel welcome in that home and want to be free to express their opinions to their agent. If you are there, it's very, very difficult. You worry about hurting your feelings. So. Hopefully this helps, guys. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us. You can comment in the comments below. You can obviously reach us on our website, liveflowlife.com. And again, each and every Monday we do these videos. Please click the subscribe button, the notification bell, leave a comment, whatever. It's very, very much appreciated. Liveflowlife.com one more time. We'll talk to you next time.